You know what, so I realized that it's been a while since I actually made an Android home screen setup video. Like, I'm running this amazing Android home screen setup on my Pixel 3 XL for a while now. So I don't even know why I've not actually made a video. Uh, I've been going through a lot. I was not well recently and I just got better and all that. So uh, pardon me for that. Anyways, if you're new on the channel, I go by the name Soji Great and welcome. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down in the description below and hit the bell icon as well so that anytime a new video is released, you're going to be updated instantly. Now, let's jump right in. Honestly speaking, there are a lot of Android launches on the Play Store, but I found myself to be coming back to Launcher Launcher just because of a number of reasons. Number one is the fact that you can actually have folders in your drawer, which is a very cool thing. And it also gives you the ability to install the long feed add-on so that you can have Google feed on your home screen. So when you swipe left, you see the Google feed. And I really like that a lot. The third thing is that it also has icon masking. You know, there are a lot of apps on the Play Store and even outside the Play Store. So it might be very difficult for one icon pack to have you know, icons for every app out there. Now, what icon masking does is that it kind of simulates how the icon is looking for your apps that don't have uh, the icons in the particular icon pack you're using. You get what I'm saying? So that is a very cool feature to have. So in case you import an app to your home screen or even have it in the drawer, there's that consistency in how all the apps look. And I really love that feature in Launcher. On the case of icons, let me talk about the icon pack I'm using in this setup. So I'm using the bubblegum icon pack and I must say I love the flat, desaturated look of all the icons. And if you look at the icon itself, the detail and how, you know, they've been able to design the icons is very much appreciated. And I love the fact that this is also a square cool icon pack and it just looks good on my Android home screen setup. Now, this icon pack is not free. I do think that the work and efforts they placed into making this icon pack is totally worth it. So if you do want to get it, it's going to set you back 1.99 US dollars. So um, have that in mind. Now let's talk about that amazing clean wallpaper. I designed that wallpaper in Figma. Now Figma is a UI UX design tool that I've recently fallen in love with. And I just wanted to have, you know, a particular space on top of the setup to keep a widget for, you know, telling me the day. So I just had to create this really nice space there. And where I'm going to leave the icons, I just wanted that place to be AMOLED black. So that was the look I was going for and I was able to achieve that with Figma. The wallpaper, along with all the other things I'm talking about, is going to be linked down in the description so you can head there to check it out. So with the top widget, we have a widget from Nebia KWGT and it's called widget 009. Now, I really love how clean and very minimal this widget is. It tells you the day and it says either good morning, good afternoon or good evening. And you have the option to include your name over there. Now, originally this uh, widget came in white, but because I wanted to go for a particular look, I changed it to black. And it's pretty easy. If you go into KWGT Pro, you can easily tweak that to even fit any color at all you want. Now, let me talk about the widget at the bottom. The bottom widget is also from Nabia KWGT and it's called Widget 084. Now, this is an amazing, clean looking uh, music widget. And I love the color scheme it's going for. It kind of is reminiscent of the wallpaper and the kind of look I'm generally going for. Now, as you can see, the black tone of the widget is a little bit muted, just slightly to give that distinction from the background wallpaper. And in my opinion, it actually looks absolutely amazing. So you can see that I have round cornered elements in this setup. 
as well with muted desaturated colors and this is the setup i'm currently running on my pixel 3 xl i'm curious to know what you guys think about the setup so if you do have any suggestions of things you'd want me to change or tweak in this setup let me know down in the comment section also if you do have an amazing setup you'd want me to actually replicate on my device to talk about you can send me you know the setup along with the details i'm going to leave my email down in the description as well so thank you so much for watching this video i go by the name swatch gray if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that anytime a new video is released you're going to be updated instantly i'll catch you guys on the next one stay blessed Thank you.